excuse me if I'm hollering, but I have Hazel's window down. It's really hot already this morning. Oh, there's a guy skateboarding holding his little chihuahua. I wish y'all could have seen that. Anyway, I'm gonna do a video. This is a video about a video, okay? I'm gonna do a video about to do or not to do underwear in your van. Now, I've noticed that if you don't have something in your title that they can link the proper ads to, you don't get any ads. So I'm figuring y'all, they should be able to link up some Fruit of the Loom ads for this video. Now, <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to add something about your pets, y'all, that I totally forgot about. Around Mary Jo's house, in many, many, many places, I'm sure, all over the country, there are two things that are a real danger to our pets. The first one is foxtails. Y'all know what those are? Those little stickers that are kind of V-shaped and they only go backwards. So what that means is once they get started, they keep crawling backwards. Now, a few years ago when I was living in my studio in Escondido, I was out in the backyard, which I had not gotten around to landscaping yet, and it was full of weeds. But Hazel and I were back there, and they had a big old bunny rabbit, and we were playing with him and feeding him carrots. Of course, it was just me feeding the carrots, okay? But anyway, um, Hazel went around to the side of the house, and all of a sudden, I hear her screaming. I mean, she was not barking. She was not whining. She was screaming. And I ran around there, and I picked her up really quick, and I was looking her over. She had a foxtail in her ear. I had to rush her to the vet's. And thank the good Lord, it wasn't so far in that they couldn't get it out. But they had to knock her out because she wouldn't be still. And those things will keep traveling until they get buried into their eardrum and they can get into their brain. So be very, very careful of foxtails. If Hazel is anywhere where I think there might be a foxtail, such as all around Mary Jo's house, I check her over really good when she comes back in the van to make sure she doesn't have... Now, they will get in between a dog's toes as well. I have had a dog in the country that got one between her toes, and before I noticed it, she started limping and she had pus, it had gotten infected. Now I treated that myself. She did not go to the vet and she recovered nicely, but it was painful, I'm sure for days and I didn't even know it. So you've got to be very, very careful of those foxtails. Now the other thing is little round sticker bushes. That's what I call them. I'm sure they have a name. You can Google them, but they're little round things and they grow on plants and they're thick. And those little tiny things, they're about the size of the head of an eraser on a pencil. They have pricklies all the way around them and they get in their feet and get tangled up and buried in their fur. Now, those are not quite so dangerous, but you've got to make sure you get those out of your dog's fur and feet because they too can be damaging. So, for this video, I guess you could say it's a post-pet video and a title teaser 
video, we will see if the one titled to do or not to do underwear in the van gets any ads on it or not. And y'all, it says on YouTube Studio that I have over $200 in my AdSense account, but that does not agree with what AdSense is saying. It's still saying that they're holding my funds, but they won't tell me why. I've done everything that I know to do that they have asked for. The address, the bank information, the PIN number you have to have mailed to you. I've done all of that, so I don't know what else to do. But anyway, Hazel and I have been stuck at Mary Jo's for a couple of days, and we are going to the park today, y'all, and spending the day. And that's gonna be our fun, and I hope y'all do something fun today, too. Remember, I always, even if I don't answer every comment, I read them, and I appreciate them. Thank y'all. Bye-bye.